Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf here at the PJ Show, well, the PJ Show demo day here in Orlando. We are at the Mizuno booth with two of the uh, second to none experts in golf clubs <laughs> here. So I've got Chris Fochelle and I've got John Freeman. They're on the R&D team here at Mizuno. And we've got the new ST Max Woods in this video today with the three reports. So um, the ST Max kind of almost, is it an addition to the ST kind of series that you guys have had for the last few years? Yeah, it's definitely a line extension. Our STZ and our STX 230 have both been really, really well, well received, great performers, do great in the hitting bay, and a lot of tour usage with them as well. Keith Mitchell, led the tour in total driving last year with it, which that says something. A lot of people don't think of that with Mizuno. Just got a win a couple weeks ago at Sony Open there with the STX. So both of them in play on tour, added the STG to the lineup for a super low spin in the last year. And now the ST Max really rounds that family out. The Max being the most forgiving of the clubs. Yeah, so so John, you got the driver there. So yeah. talk to me about, uh, I guess, what's different with the ST Max maybe versus you know the STZ, STX that we've seen the last couple of years. Yeah, so the, the biggest difference, we can start with the face material. We've got a new face material, Thai LFS. So it stands for lighter, faster, stronger. What that allowed us to do was create, I guess to date, I think the highest MOI driver that Mizuno's ever made. Wow. Um, so combine that high MOI with the new face technology, that's going to give us an uh, industry leader in terms of ball speed retention across the face. Yeah. A um, lot of carbon, um, expansion of the Cortec chamber. So we've got the cor Cortec chamber, but extended more into the heel, so it's centered up on that face. Um, head shape wise, the ST Max is more lower profile, bigger head, uh, still 460cc, so maximizing that total volume. Uh, for the mm -hmm. highest MOI head. Sure, so you still kind of see that ball speed in the new the new face material still. Right. You guys have had that beta titanium type of stuff mm -hmm. over the past few years. Clearly some spring effect there off of the whole face. And now you're kind of adding the, the high MOI element. You know, that the chase for MOI is sort of a, the hot trend right now in Absolutely. golf. Absolutely. Uh, and that's to see why you guys go after it is, is really cool too, to have another product there. And that's why it's so nice as it being like a complement to the other clubs. Because yeah. it's like, we still have the performance and the ultra low spin if you need it, but having the ultra forgiveness on there, it's, it's just for that player who looks for it, now we've got that yeah. option as well. And the, the quick switch hosel is still the same, right. same adjustments yeah, right. right throughout as, as the other drivers, perfect. Um, so now let's go down to the fairy wood here, mm -hmm. um, Chris. So, ST Max fairy wood. Um, what's different with this one than compared to the other fairy woods? You know, similar story to the driver. The whole thing about the ST Max was just making it more forgiving. You're making it a club that launches easy. It's okay to spin a little bit more, and one's going to go up in the air really nicely. So our STZ continues on. Our STG is our super low spin. The Max allowed us to go larger on the footprint longer from front to back, longer from toe to heel. And like John said on the driver, we took that Cortec chamber and optimized it for this new head shape. We moved it a little bit more towards the heel, but it actually centered it up on the face even better. That means you can get a more consistent ball speed regardless of where you hit it. There's still some weight concentration forward with that stainless steel mm -hmm. weight embedded within the Cortec chamber. So again, it's not crazy high spin, but it is gonna launch really easily and give you a ton of ball speed. All that in a package that looks very inviting. Yeah, yeah, and I can tell just by that too that's very high launching type of club it looks like a pretty relatively shallow face there for sure too. yeah yeah um, so the head shape of, it complements everything it's supposed to do it looks easy to hit because yeah. it is yeah and i imagine the hybrid then too has similar properties then where you have uh, again kind of a shallower face and mm -hmm. you have those forgiving max right type of properties that are going to deliver similar performance that's there. exactly right the the stories behind the fairway and the hybrid are very yeah. very similar again longer from front to back longer from toe to heel bigger profile flatter head in terms of like closer to the ground, everything yeah. pushed down, a little bit more shallow. And then again, that Cortec chamber got expanded as well. So you get better ball speed, better ball speed across the face, easier to launch, easier to spin, and some higher loft options with a seven wood available in the fi in the fairway and a 28 degree available in the hybrid. Yeah, that, that's what I was gonna ask as well, is all those options, because on that type of club, a lot of players are looking to get the ball in the air. They totally. might be struggling, might be hitting a four iron or a five iron thinking, I can't get this thing in the air. ST Max, Fairywood or Hybrid can be the problem sure. solver for that. Yeah. Absolutely. For that, that golfer. So um, Chris Fochelle and John Freeman here at the PJ Show. Thank you guys for your help on the new Mizuno ST Max clubs. We're going to go do some testing now, but um, if you guys are interested in a new Fairywood Hybrid driver in 2024, Mizuno ST Max might be a really good option for you. So thanks guys for the information. Thanks. You got it. All right, Mr. Kevin Kraft, we yes, are back sir. here in the tour van, ah. Mizuno ST Max. Um, I know, you know, our, our last sort of um, 
you know, visit with the ST Max clubs, if you will, was at the PGA Show demo day. We got to chat with Mr. Voschel and John Freeman there, yep. um, and they kind of um, introduced us to these new woods. And it it seems like it, it's a it's a good addition to their ST line of, of woods because ST Z two thirty and ST X two thirty. There's there's not really an uber high MOI model between the two. Right. Um, you know, the ST X is sort of the draw bias, but it's mm -hmm. not really a high MOI draw bias like so many other manufacturers. So um, curious to see actually how this one performs and what we think of it. Yeah, it's a uh it's a nice looking driver. It's very shiny. So I'm getting a little bit of the, you know, the reflection on the lights. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm, I'm not having a, a big problem with fingerprints today. So we'll call, <laughs> we'll call that a win. Good. Um, but it's a nice shape. It looks good. I'm, I'm one of those guys that doesn't like to see a whole lot of club face. Yeah. Right. So even though I, it seems like I'm going to have to start lofting up a little bit to get my numbers. So I'm going to have to start looking at a little more face, but this looks, it's a good, it's a really good shape. Um, you know, the face doesn't look, you know, really squashed. So it's not, you know, for some of the higher MOI models, yeah. they tend to look kind of like a, a you know, they've been stepped on, right, flattened right, out. Right. This, this doesn't look like that. Okay. It, it just looks, it looks good and solid. Um, you know, there's a pretty distinct, difference between sure, the yeah. you know the, the black leading portion and then then the carbon fiber um you know it's not offensive at all uh it's looks yep. good looks good sure yeah. yeah so um yeah let's see what this thing sure looks you know sounds yeah. and feels so like today we'll we'll hit you know some driver some also st max Surrey woods and then st max hybrids as well and we'll kind of just uh get your feedback on all three of them Perfect. and then down the line as well we'll do some testing Comparing to other Mizuno yeah. woods as well, but cool. Um, all right, so let's get the Trackman here set up. I should do I've Trackman would be a good thing. Yeah. I didn't. Wow, very straight ball flight to start. There. Yeah, you curve that one a whole four feet. Ooh, all right, nice. Good first shot. Feels good, stable. Yeah. Right, a good you know high MOI golf club. We yeah, want it right. to feel stable. Sounds good too. Yeah, I thought it was it's pretty. It's not. It's not. I don't think it's like on any end of the spectrum. It's just no. Sounds no. how a driver should sound yeah. in twenty twenty four. Exactly. Think, which is a good thing. Yeah, indeed. One of the things I'm liking about this right off the bat is. It's certainly not biased toward draw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Sometimes we think about these these things as maybe being a little easier to turn over. Sure. Um, and this, a lot of them are. I mean, that's yeah. how they're. A lot of them are built with added weight in the heel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, there might be a ta there might be a touch of that in this driver, but it's not, you know, a quote unquote draw bias that you see from other manufacturers. Yeah, I've got it on the standard setting, nine five and, and standard. So feels really good though. There you go. There's your draw. Yep. Huge draw. About six yard draw. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like I like that draw. I can live with I yeah, can yeah. live with that one all day. That one was a little toey. Let's see what happens okay. here. A little toey. Hmm. Okay. I mean, just kind of stayed right there. Yeah. The, the uh, gear effect didn't really turn it over or anything. No. I like that. Yeah. It definitely was a little toey here. Yeah. But that seems like a pretty good result from that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Again, this is what, there are four or five swings so far? And I, I know this is, a, as in terms of the actual ball flight, this is as straight as it's I've seen from you hitting one. Like, obviously, a lot of times you're hitting that draw that turns over a little yeah. bit. Yeah. But the actual ball flight, that's as much draw as we've really seen right there. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's good. That was a little bit of a miss. Could have fooled me. I mean, good miss. Gracious. Doesn't look like a miss to me. Okay. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this is the part that I think we're most concerned about is where the ball goes. Yeah, that's, so. I, I like that. It looks good. Okay. We've got numbers. Okay. I like those numbers. So we yeah. got 
Um, I like the spin is just over 2,000. I know that's actually probably a little bit low for being a max high MOI driver, but um, the ball flight was great. He hit it about 100 feet in the air. Um, you're carrying it about just under 270, just under 300 total. Um, Smash factor's down a little bit. I did. I, I did notice that. Um, it, I mean, it, did it feel like you were, you know, not grooving I mean, these ones? Or? I had I had two shots that had the toey one and that last yeah. one that I could tell that one came off a little high. Yeah. That weren't cut solid, but I, the, I rest, see, the yeah, rest of the, them. That one for sure, 142 makes sense yep. based on what I'm looking yep. at here. If we go through and sort of go through on these, you know, most of them, yeah. Okay. okay. So there was... Well, uh, <laughs> I'm all over the face. Well, it, Shocking, right? This is who I am as a golfer, <laughs> right? So this, this is not meant to, you know, no, it, call out Kevin Kraft. No, no, it's, and, <laughs> but it's, it, it's, it's true. I'm not, you know, some days I'm really dialed in and I'm going to hit it in the same spot all the time. And some days I'm not. So today I wasn't. The good news is this was not a great smash factor number. But look at the performance numbers. Yeah, right? uh, that's really good. I mean, I, I hit it kind of all over the face. We had a low one. We had a couple of toe ones. We had a high one. Yeah. And spin rate, 192 RPM variation. Okay, it's awesome. pretty darn good. And averaging 269 carry and 297. If I if that's my not my best day. Right. Dude, I'm gonna be in. Ha I'm gonna be happy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's and gonna be really good. Also, look how consistent and look at the, the dispersion. Yeah. That's pretty darn good. This is good. Yeah. Like this is really good. That's it feels a, good. It looks good. It sounds solid. And from those numbers, if you're, you know, <laughs> and that's what you get, that's, that's good. Yeah. I think yeah. Uh, that, that's really, really good testing to see yeah. the impact locations and see that the ball is still flying pretty similar distance on, you know, you had a couple that were kind of towards the center, really yeah. good swings, had a couple that were, you know, up high towards the toe. You had an actually one low uh, below the face. Yeah or below the center line. And to see the carry distance vary by only 1.7 yards on those is, is really impressive by yeah. the Zuno, so. Just imagine what would happen if you actually hit it in the middle. Yeah, yeah, you might. <laughs> well, maybe it won't this change. Might maybe be really good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so very good on the ST Max driver. Uh, yeah. I think we have a pretty good grade for that one. So, yeah. um, fairy wood time now? Sure. Let's do the fairy wood. This was good. What do yeah. you see when you put the ST Max down? Looks like a small version of the driver. Yeah, <laughs> it does. It's, I mean, I mean, Shape-wise, it looks almost identical. It just looks like somebody shot it with a shrink ray and made it smaller. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's probably exactly what Mizuno is, is yes, wanting to hear. I'm, I'm you know? sure, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. That, I'm sure that's what they do too, right? They oh just, yeah. They they put a driver in a little little box and they shoot it with a shrink ray I, and I, get it to the right. You know, right I know hand. there's supercomputers being used in golf to design <laughs> clubs. I don't know if there's shrink rays yet, but maybe at some point there will be. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Uh, the driver looked good. This looks good. Not much more I can say about it, really. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, let's All see right. some swings here. I'm curious. I mean, we can, if we want to also, we can maybe try a few off, off of a t little tee as well. Yeah, I can probably, let me see if I can push this thing down and get it all the way down. Otherwise, we probably have a different way of teeing it up. Well, like a, this, is, this is really the best way if I can get it pushed far enough down. That's pretty close. We'll see those the red portions of those tees get a little they get a little weak and wobbly mm, when they've yeah. been whacked so many times. Yep. And so the new and you put a new one in there, you can push the red all the way down to the bo bottom with no problem. But we'll see what happens. That was a little healy healy. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Also, in warm ups, I was hitting it, hanging it out to the right, so I might have Tried to With make the sure I yeah. squared that one up a little bit. That one looked a little better. That uh, should be a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah, still peeled off to the right. I don't know what my don't know what my three wood problem is this morning. Maybe a slight miss there. Slight. Still went out there though. Yep. Just kind Not of a knuckler. Good. Yeah. Feel like that one's gonna hang just a little bit. Yep. Happier to see the hanger than I am the one going left. Yeah, I suppose. So, and, and we should chat a little bit about of uh, three wood spin because it's a. I feel like it's a. You know, I, I know your your thoughts on it are maybe a little bit different than than most. Not really anymore. Okay. 
because for me, if I'm carrying a three wood now, it is a into the green club. It's not mm. really an off the tee club. I've got another club for, yeah. for that driver yeah. replacement. So I don't have to think about that anymore. Um, for me, three wood's going to be, it's either going to be a three wood or a two hybrid Okay. in the bag. Can't carry both because can't have 15 clubs. Dumb rule. D- totally dumb rule. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, and certainly something that the USGA is never going to give in to. No. Considering they don't want to make things easier. They want to make golf harder. Um, so, yeah. Um, trajectory is a big deal. Yeah. Lightning angle is still a big deal. <laughs> if we were on this range at Titleist TPI, they would be talking about landing angle, landing angle, landing yep. angle. So any club that we're going to hit coming into the greens, we want to have a good landing angle. Yeah. Yeah. You're and I'm, totally I'm right. beginning to think I need to loft up on everything because, I mean, well, 102 is not bad. Uh, yeah, that one's high. About granted, those are, you know, some kind of high fades, but. Yeah. Which, you know, I mean, with three wood. Yeah. I will say, though, with a three wood, you want that attack angle to be as, as neutral as you can get. You're yeah, and I it, definitely know. tend to be, well, actually, when, when we were at Titleist last time, the guy I was, uh, that was working with me was like, dude, hit down on it. I'm like, really? That's just not what I do. <laughs> right. I'm a sweeper. I've always been a sweeper. I play, I play my three wood where I play a driver, right? So uh, I can create some trajectory, but I'm not, I'm not hitting down on it. Like, yeah. apparently he wanted me to. Yeah, so that, in, that inherently, though, is going to lower spin. Yeah. Compared to maybe others that are steep. Yeah, if you're if you're hitting down on it, you're gonna create more spin. Yeah. For sure. So uh, I'm just not a, a particularly high spin guy with, with yeah. woods. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's fine. hybrids that's maybe. That's just how a you are. Bit, but yeah. I think we got a couple more. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's more. let's make a couple more swings here. Yeah. I haven't I haven't probably done this club justice yet. I have no idea where that one's gonna go. I mean, it looks pretty good. Hey, okay. I have no idea where it's going to go, he says. It's about as straight as a golf shot can be. <laughs> couldn't tell. <laughs> I couldn't tell. I had the other one that went away off to the right. I thought it hit pretty good. So Now, if I were going to say, I would say that one was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you'd be correct. Okay, there we go. Those last two are there we go. look like the same golf shot. That one that felt one's a little bit, flat, little bit better. farther. Yeah. yeah, that one felt a little bit better. Jeez, we took a little break okay. and you hit every single I one. Might have, I might have redeemed myself a little bit there. <laughs> Jeez, we took a little break to chat. Comes back, hits three perfect <sighs> golf shots. Okay. okay. Just right. glad to know so, it's still in so there. So this is that first one that you definitely hit off the heel. We'll, we'll just ax that one. Um, then we've got okay. these ones here. Yep. A couple that you hung out to the right a little bit. It's okay. You know, nothing, yeah, no big deal okay. there. Here's a 1-3-8 oh, okay. smash that you may have missed a little bit. Yeah, that was maybe... Not um, so great. But uh, good. here's our kind of numbers with the three wood. <laughs> Those three at their last three shots here. <laughs> it's just, I think this one could not be more dead center. <laughs> so <laughs> it's perfect. Um, 240 carry on average. Okay. Two, uh, basically 260 total. Um, thoughts on the three wood? Um, Good. It feels very similar. Like I said, it looks so much like the yeah. the, the driver. It actually feels a lot like the driver as okay. well. Um, maybe I had a little bit of hard time figuring out exactly where it was coming off the face. Oh yeah. Because I didn't. You did say you were kind of guessing. You didn't. Yeah, know I, where I it was really going. didn't. I really didn't know. Um, so that's just maybe a little bit of function of feel. You know, we talked yesterday a little bit about a. Um, an iron feeling a little more like a fairway wood. Yeah. This feels a little more, maybe a touch more iron like. It doesn't really okay. doesn't have that, quite have that smushing the face and then you know, yeah, ejecting it back out kind of huh. kind of feel. So maybe a little firmer off okay. the, off the head, which is fine. I mean, there's there's certainly nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Um, we have good adjustability in this thing, so it's it's you know, we can do a lot with it. Height wise was okay. Um, yeah, I would. I like to see about two forty five. Okay. Carry out of out of three wood for me, but I mean we're just a couple yards short there. So yeah, I mean, no granted, these last couple that you did hit were you, know, you got one two yeah two forty three two forty two. So yeah, pretty, you're getting there. Yeah, it's yeah um, user error. 
Well, yeah. I, I'm not going to call those shots user error by any means. You can call those shots so, user error. That's uh, fair. I'm not going to. <laughs> that would be that would be false information for the viewers. Yeah. I think. Um, all right. But spin rate ST, was good too. You know, we're. we're yeah. You know, I mean, it is kind of funny that your driver was dispersion was so good that it's better than the three wood dispersion. Um, now the hybrid. Now let's see what the hybrid Kay. dispersion looks like if it's going to be match the driver. Okay. So what hybrid do we have here? Four hybrid? This is the 22 degree. So it does not have a number on it other than the, well, the, the loft. 230 and the ST Max, but 22 on, oh, okay. on the loft. Yeah. So the, yep. Okay. So probably a four hybrid ish. I, yeah. That's what I'm just, I assigned it yeah. that on track, man. So yeah, four hybrid. Okay. Um, so kind of looks, looks like a larger head from here for hybrid. It's not really. No, no, no. It's, pretty standard. I think if you put it up against the, you know, the two different Callaway models, it maybe falls in between them, either in between or certainly leaning a little more toward the smaller version. Hmm. It doesn't, okay. it doesn't look big at all. Uh, I think it's pretty clean. Okay. Actually. Nice. Um, nice looking hybrid. It's got a good shape, a little bit of a pointy toe, but again, that's me being insane and nitpicking on every <laughs> little thing on the aesthetics of golf clubs. Golly, I wish I wasn't that like that, but uh, I'm like shallow Hal for golf clubs. You ever see that movie? No, I haven't. <sighs> Did you see the movie? Okay. Yeah, so. Sean, I can always count on you, man. Seriously. Well, I'm here. Drew is just not reliable when I when it comes to references. Music references, movie references. The, the, the fact that you keep trying that. to make these references as <laughs> As if I'm going to get them. As, as <laughs> I feel like I'm not totally at fault here, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just not accepting of the fact that you don't know any of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> clearly. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, it was Jack Black with Gwyneth Paltrow. And he's a, he's a very... I will say, Jack Black already has me intrigued. Okay. That's a Jack he's, Black movie. He's, he's a very shallow individual judging everything based uh -huh. on aesthetics, women especially. Yeah. And he gets a lesson in in who he is and mm. why maybe he ah. shouldn't necessarily be that way. Okay. So uh, maybe that's, that's that's where I'm at with, with this <laughs> stuff. Okay. Okay. Anyway, back to the, back to the golf. Um, yeah. So it looks good. Both okay. Yeah. Again, one four five. Not seeing the not seeing that smash factor. Quite. I, don't know. I mean that that smash factor is what you had with the driver. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I was curious on that spin. That seemed like a lot of spin the last time, but maybe I'm okay. Eh. That one was a little healy. Every time I see Healy, say Healy, I think of Roadhouse. And yet another movie that you don't know. Yep. Patrick Swayze. That was it. Well. Well. Wow, you're turning this thing over. Very consistent. High draw. Yeah, high draw. Too much draw. Okay. Let me see if I can. Let's talk for just a second so I can I can work, <laughs> yeah, yeah. work we'll, my we'll way out of this. Reset your swing Wait, a little bit yeah, here. Yeah. All right. Well, let me just, just for the fun, I'm gonna, fun of them, I'm going to get the dispersion up here. Yeah. Okay. Looks pretty good. Well, show me the impact locations. I'm thinking it's a little toward the heel. You think it's toward the heel? Yeah. Let me see here. I'm, I think it's a little easier to tell with this Oops, one. Than sorry, it is I'm clicking the wrong buttons. Bit. Okay. So you've got. Yeah, that one's a little low heel, and low heel. Okay. okay. Thus, Thus. Me shutting the face left. down and and. Yes. Usually, okay. if I'm going to hit it off the heel, I'm probably shutting the face down and, and pulling it. Okay. Well. Okay. Let's uh here. I'll, I'll give you the right screen that you want to look at here. Okay. So Let's see if I can make this go the way I would like it to go. That might be the winner. Still, okay. little, still turning though. Still is turning. So one thing about hybrids for some people, they have tended to to want to yeah you know, to want to turn. This one definitely seems to want to turn. Yeah. A little now bit. again, so far, if you are a player that struggles missing right. Yeah, that ST could, Max hybrid might be, be a, a good really option. good option for you. Let me see based if I can, on what we're seeing so far. Let me see if I can work my way out of this. 
Now that one was to the toe, so this could even hang out to the right. Hey, okay. I can tell what's going on with this one. I had a hard time with the three wood, but I can definitely tell. With In terms of the feel, like you yeah. know what's happening at yep. impact. Yeah, let's give this a couple more wax. And... Okay. More. Well, you have no problems with trajectory on this club. That's, yeah, that's for that's sure. Good. That was a little more better in terms of direction. That sounded fantastic. And I just laid the sod over it and hit it into whatever pond is in front of the green. <laughs> okay. Let's, that was a good uh, finish. I'm glad we got let's, that. Let's, uh, let's take a drop. <laughs> okay. And uh, try that again. <laughs> Oh, that just smokes the next one. Yeah, I smoked it left, though. Not really. I'm a little left. Eh, it's fine. Okay. So. Okay. I think, uh, I think we got this one we could take out. That's the <laughs> one you just. But really, the rest of them are, I mean, again, we got, we, we moved some a little bit left in there. Yeah. But um, it's interesting that really this is the this is a different kind of this is oh this was the toe strike wasn't it? That's what that was. Yes. All right. So look how consistent that spin is now. We took out obviously a couple of misses yeah. in there, but um, I, I like there's a lot of spin there, mm -hmm. you know, which is a good thing for players that are going to use this to attack greens, attack the pin, um, but also the landing angle and height. Over 114 on average, yep. 48 degrees for the landing good. angle. That's pretty darn good. good. So that's really good. Um, if you're a that player that struggles with hybrids, that. getting them up into the air, yeah. maybe they even move to the right on you. I mean, I think ST Max is a pretty good. Pretty high spin option. rate though. It is. It's it's this. a high spin rate. It, it is high spin rate. Um, which can be good and bad, right? So if you are a player that spins it a lot already, that could be concerning. Yeah, it definitely took away a bit of distance, right? Yeah. I want. I kind of want this club to be like a 215 club. Mm -hmm. um, and we're, we're yeah. lagging back just and a little And it could bit. be, you know, the shaft, too. I mean, there's, yeah, there's other yeah, things for that sure. play here. I mean, um, we're using just kind of This what, one stock, should be pretty good, though. Stock stiff shafts, kind like, of what we're using I've here. tended to like the Lynx okay. pretty well. And it's a 75-gram stiff flex. So, yeah. The weird part of on all three of these, though, is the smash factors. Like, those just seem low to me. Mm. Um, you know, numbers are fine, but smash factor seems low. Hmm. So whether that was me or whether that was golf club or I don't know. it was pretty consistent all the way through yeah and i think the of all three of them the consistency is pretty good i would say yeah. um and there's also a lot of forgiveness especially we talked about the driver how consistent or forgiving that was on yeah. some of the hit locations um yeah. and then i think the hybrid is going to play really well for players that either don't have a lot of spin need to get the ball up in the air yeah. or maybe the player that struggles with it yeah, it, right. it definitely did seem to have a little bit of, of left side bias and trajectory was definitely not an issue and, no. and spin was good. So look, and with all the golf clubs that are out there that have been designed to spin less, spin less, spin less. Yeah. Uh, you get into that four iron, you're not going to want to have a four iron, right? You're right. Gonna, definitely going to want to have the four hybrid. Mm -hmm. This could be a really good option for that guy that, that wants a little bit of draw, but still gets good trajectory and sure. good spin. So yeah, sure. nice. All right. So uh, let's, let's wrap her up here in the final thoughts okay. for these. All right, Mr. Kraft, testing mm. complete. Um, it's kind of a fun video because we started this video in Florida. And, yes. Uh, now we're back in Minnesota. Yeah. Uh, so that's... Uh, some time traveling happening. Weather was video. slightly better in Florida, but I agree. It's not bad I agree. now either. Uh, it's okay here. Yeah, it's okay. No complaints. Um, ST Max. We did. We tested the driver. We tested the ferry wood. We tested the hybrid. Mm -hmm. um, I know you had some pretty good impressions overall on them. There was yeah. uh, mostly really good performance in the testing. A lot of forgiveness and consistency. So I want to start with the driver. Let me kind of go over the players that you think after you know what you know about the club and, mm -hmm. and testing yeah. it. The type of club or excuse me, the type of player that would fit into this club. Yeah, um, anybody. There you go. Yeah, this is the year of Max, right? It is. We've had Maxes in the past, but yeah. this is really the year of, of Max. The year of Max, the year of MOI. Yes, and this this driver, anybody could play this. Mm -hmm. um, it did not have, in our testing, it didn't have any particular draw bias. 
It also didn't really have any particular fade bias. What this is going to be designed to do is be really forgiving and really stable to try and give you as much you know straight line as you can get. Mm -hmm. And I was very I was very impressed with with this club overall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There was you know it, it's very forgiving across the face. Clearly, um, I also <laughs> like that they maintain well, actually all these clubs that the quick switch hosel is still oh, yes. there. You know, a lot of times you get these max clubs and they keep them bonded, yep. especially you get down to fairwood and hybrid, yep. but um, Give me that adjustability. you still have the adjustability yes. with this. So, um, all right, the fairwood now. Um, we had some testing there. Yep. I think, you know, it took a little bit maybe to kind of get that thing <laughs> squared, but then you got, but then you hit three that were like perfect. Yeah, so was, it, was, it was my, my <laughs> fault. I wasn't, I wasn't putting the best swings on it when, when we started, so. Well, you eventually yeah. got there and, and yeah. it delivered. A little so. tiny bit of redemption. Yeah, That's a good thing. exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, again, anybody can play this. It's um, it's kind of falls in between. It's not a shallow face. It's not a really deep face. Uh, we did produce reasonably good trajectory with this. Mm -hmm. um, I felt like, if anything, the, the face felt maybe just a little bit harder. Okay. Um, a little firmer. So, a little firmer feel, right? Yeah. And that's... It's a player preference thing. Exactly, exactly. Um, but again, we got good tunability, right? So we, we, can, we can make this do pretty much whatever we want yeah. it to do. Yeah. Sure. And then uh, lastly, uh, where I think maybe some of the testing was perhaps a little bit different in some ways compared to the three wood and the driver is the ST Max hybrid. Yeah, the hybrid was was a little, it was definitely a little bit more interesting because this had a little more of that left side bias yeah. that uh, you know some people have complained about with hybrids, yeah. but yet some other people might actually want in a right. hybrid, right? So uh, if you're looking for something that maybe is going to help keep that right side out this one seems to, mm -hmm. to have that you know that playability also we saw good spin numbers yeah. and and good trajectory so if you're looking to replace a four iron with something that does go up in the air nicely yeah. this one definitely did that for us yeah it was very high launching and uh, yeah. definitely something that you could attack a green with and keep the ball Absolutely. in the green uh, it was yeah. very uh, the trajectory like you mentioned was really high and really good for, yeah. for golfers so there you have it, the Mizuno ST Max 230 driver, uh, Ferrywood and hybrid. Um, really good remarks here from Kevin on the testing. Um, this is I mean, gonna be a big, big year for Mizuno, I think. Yeah. Uh, they got the really good, obviously the Pro Irons, yeah. and then they've Fantastic. got a nice little addition to their ST lineup with the Woods. Yeah. Um, Mizuno is one to not sleep on when you get to the fitting for day, sure. for sure. And don't and don't forget the 923 JPX line. Correct. You know, yeah. It's in mm -hmm. there. It's in its second season now, but it's. Still really yeah, good. Still a, yeah. a, fa a favorite among golfers. <laughs> Absolutely. So go get fit from Mizuno today, the ST Max Woods, or any of their, their brilliant iron models out there. And uh, someone like Kevin will take care of you in the bay. So, Kevin, thanks for all your help and insight today. Absolutely. Yeah.